we now navigate to the Netherlands and the Malingavard Nature Reserve, which is based on the floodplains of the River Vaal. It's home to a primitive herd of about 40 conic horses that are part of a rewilding project that allows nature to reshape and return the land to its natural state. The conic breed is a Polish breed. And um, when we choose for the conic horse in the, in the first place, there are um, uh, a few reasons. Uh, one of them is it's a hard breed. They can survive uh, in nature uh, easily. This is a, a, a heron group. Uh, it's a group of mares. Um, their offspring, uh, young, young ones, uh, one-year-olds, two-year-olds, and the little fillies. There's one stallion who is the leading stallion and two stallions who want to be the leading stallion, the second stallions. This is our old stallion. He's 22 years old at the moment. And he um, is still a leading stallion of his, uh, his group. Uh, what's uh, really special about him is uh, that he's with, with his group for all his life. He, he created this group when he was a young stallion, like four years old. And he still is uh, with the same mares as um, uh, he was at the, at the start. Yeah, he has um, a lot of scars uh, because he, uh, uh, he get an older stallion at the moment. And there are two uh, concurrating uh, stallions uh, who want to have a job. So uh, yeah, that's something uh, uh, we can see on his body. But he's still holding on. This is uh, uh, one of the young stallions who is um, a concurrent of the leading stallion. But he's also his helping hand. It's a, a second stallion, a second hand, we call it. And there are a, a few of uh, the youngsters a little bit away from the herd. So he's helping out the leading stallion. You see? He gets them back. Yeah, and he has to mark because he's also a a very important stallion. At least he thinks it's of itself. You see? He brings them back. The horses, uh, the, the mares will keep uh, a relationship to their stallion for long years. The offspring, they leave their bird groups. And when they leave the bird group, they, uh, they form new groups harem groups or bachelor bands and those new groups um, those are formed with um, uh, stallions who are from uh, yeah who are not related to the group uh, where they're born in they don't need a lot of care uh, we don't trim the, the hooves we uh, don't uh, deworm uh, when there's a, a sick animal we also call the vet but it's really rare uh, because they are really healthy, um, self-carrying uh, uh, animals. They eat a lot. <laughs> that uh, to start with. Um, they're grazers, so they eat a lot of grass. Um, but they also eat a lot of herbs, um, uh, trees. Uh, most of the time, uh, they are grazing in a grazing position, so uh, uh, low at the ground. Um, but for 20% of the time, they eat uh, higher than the knees, and then we call it browsing. This time of year uh, is uh, also a fascinating time because the foals get born. They have um, uh, playful characters, but that's more a thing uh, of age. Uh, the youngsters. Uh, yeah, they have to learn a lot, so uh, they explore uh, and they, they play, they, uh, they explore everything that's in this area, um, what they can find. The stallions are more, um, yeah, they look to the, the outside, eh? the, 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 the security system, so they need to yeah, to be awake to, uh, for predators, for other stallions, for, for 
other threats. Um, and the mares, they're yeah, just really busy with their offspring and with each other. They're looking to the inside of their group. Yeah, they, uh, they're uh, one-year-old stallions and they, um, yeah, they're playful uh, animals. They have to uh, practice, practice to be a leading stallion once. But on the, you can see on the whole body that it's, um, uh, it's, it's just play. The horses smell uh, and the poop of the other horses uh, and it's uh, our form of communication. They use uh, the smell um, to give a message or to receive a message from the other. Um, horses uh, smell 27,000 times better than humans, so it's an a important communication model. In, in the poo they can smell uh, the health of the other horse, um, the hormones of the other horse, uh, yeah, everything, yeah, how it goes with the other horse. They're really wild, but they're not scared. We always think of wild horses as spooky horses and, and uh, afraid of everything. But nothing's true about Konix. They're not spooky animals because they have a, a really good security system. They live with their stallion and their, their relationship with the stallion is, is a really good security system. I really love uh, to look at these horses because they teach me a lot about the way uh, horses uh, live together. When I look at these horses, it's about harmony, it's about relationships, it's about caring for each other. They're so different from domesticated horses. Uh, I learn a lot of them and I love it.